Hello, Burndo1 here with the QDR Crusaders here to basically read to you a special announcement we have for an upcoming fan creation episode spectacular. The announcement that I'm going to be uh, reading is for Crab Battle Part 3, the re-fan crabbing. And it's something we're really excited about and... It's something I figured maybe people didn't want to he read the huge wall of text so they could, you know, listen to me read it for them and see my lovely horse famous face with my super amazing way too long mustache that is actually just not trimmed and I decided to curl it because maybe people would think it was funny, I don't know. And I'm in art college so you have to fit in and you have to have the little thing. Anyway, enough about my face. Um, basically, uh, I'll, I'm just going to read this, right? So hello, my name is Bernicus the Crab Slayer. Um, and I'm here to give you lovely ponies a little bit of info on an upcoming experiment that we, the QDR Crusaders, are going to be doing on Everfree Network. The rundown for this is in April. We're going to attempt to do a fan-generated content episode thing. How that works is starting now, we'd like to ask you, our fans, to create pony art for a specific theme so we can feature and highlight all the work submitted to create a super awesome fan sewed thing spectacular. Our theme for this episode will be Crab Battle, obviously. <laughs> All you have to do to make it in this episode is by the 11th of April, create a piece uh, of rarity, usually it's rarity, but it can be any pony, whatever pony, fighting a giant crab. Upload it to DeviantArt and then send us the link to your deviation in our... Ooh, wow, well, that sentence. Upload it to DeviantArt, then send us the link to your deviation to our email account at qdrcrusaders at gmail.com with crab battle written in the subject because our gmail will filter it and put it in a folder so we don't lose it so we can feature it on the episode if it doesn't have crab battle written on it then we have to find it see that it's for crab battle and put it in that folder so when we make the episode we don't lose it it's a month down the line it's a long time now the art details for this is obviously goes without saying but your pony piece or fan art crab battle extravaganza piece must be PG-13. Um, crab Annihilation will be allowed and permitted to a certain extent, so not extreme amounts of gore, but crab shell bits, crab guts will be allowed to a certain reasonable extent. Um, I mean, if you don't think Michelle Krieber can see it, don't send it. Now, all artists must... All art must be sent to her email, as I previously, previously stated, by the 11th of April and by noon Pacific Standard Time, and no later, because that's when we record the episode, is we're going to be recording the episode on the 11th of April at noon. All right. Um, and we're not picky about what goes into the art. It can be Rarity, it can be you, it can be your OC, it can be us, <clears throat> Bernicus the Crab Slayer. I like Roman art. It, the freedom to whatever is, it's all up to you. Um, just make sure that there is a giant crab being fought, because it's a crab battle. Clearly, the art can be any medium, digital, traditional, whatever. We don't care. Uh, it doesn't have to be specific on that. And it can be any skill level. We can't stress this enough. You can be a super amazing pony artist, or you can be a novice, or you can not be an artist at all. If you make some kind of art piece that is a crab battle, you can submit it to us. It can be pencil on paper, sketching quick. It, with, it can be whatever. Just try to make sure that the, the quality of the image you send in is a good one. So, like really crappy cell phone pictures of a drawing you made we may not feature because you can't see that on the screen very well yeah, it has to somewhat be okay so if you are going to take a picture of a traditional sketch make sure the picture is good so we can give it an adequate feature um that being said skill level doesn't matter now the art must be created for this episode so if you've created crab battle artwork in the past um you're an established pony artist who's done that it doesn't mean you can't submit a piece to us. You just can't submit that one you've made prior. You have to make a new art piece specifically for this. That way everyone's kind of on the same like level ground and field and whatnot. <clears throat> now, um, we will also be highlighting your artwork. We're not, we're not like asking you to send it to us directly to feature it. But that being said, if you would like a critique, please state so specifically and explicitly to us. Like, uh, post it in your description, or even better yet, include it in the message that you send us in our email, or both. So that way we know that we can actually give you critique. Um, we really like to remain educational on our show, so if you would like some constructive feedback on your artwork, please state so and we'd be happy to offer you our artistic thoughts on how to better your work, your pony work, fan art, whatever. And we will try to remain as respectful as possible, obviously, always. Um, and offer information that we will that we feel will help you and our viewers alike. Um, we 
we're really on the fence about this critique part because we don't feel like we have the right to go out of our way and critique things that we highlight. Um, but we figured since our fans and like aspiring artists will be so, like watch our show and we'll be creating work maybe some people would like critique but we will not critique your work without permission so if you would like a critique please say so um and we would really like to critique some work because we feel like that's something we don't get to actually do on our show a lot people like don't specifically ask for critique a lot on like artwork that we feature so we thought that would be a cool aspect for a fan generated episode if we get more aspiring artists to actually like offer our two artistic sense on uh, their art pieces, and we thought that would really help our viewers learn as well. So anyway, so yeah, please please state so if you would like that. Now, <clears throat> moving on. You also don't have to be a huge fan of our show. You don't even have to know who we are. You don't have to know who I am. It doesn't matter. You just have to make an art piece for this episode specifically. Um, we're not so so like self entitled to be like, oh, only people who know us have to make stuff. Like any, Anyone can make an art piece and send it into us as long as it's meant for this episode in particular. Um, all art must be, all art must be uploaded to DeviantArt, as I said before, and then the link sent us, sent to us in our email with Crab Battle written in the description, because another reason why we want it to be uploaded to DeviantArt is because it will allow us to, um, put it into our fa a favorites folder for this episode, so everyone can see all of the work submitted, as, and especially if we feature it, and then it will also let us accurately highlight you and your work, because we'll know your artist name, we'll know your DeviantArt name, people will know where to go find more of your artwork. Um, it gives you exposure, and so we can give you the credit you deserve, and stuff like that. Um, now, moving right down the list. Uh, 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 uh. Some disclaimers, closing statements, bleh. Now, with everything I just said, this is an experimental episode. Um, we've never done something like this before, and we have no clue if it's going to work at all. It could totally just flop, and no one sends in anything, and the episode never happens, and we're all sad ponies. But we are we really want to give this a shot, and we've been really amazed by our fans in the past, uh, like with our fan art episodes, when we were like, hey, we're having a fan art episode, send in stuff if you want, and then like people send in and so much stuff. So we're hoping something cool like that will happen for this episode, but we, we again, have no clue. Um, and we've really been looking, looking for new ways to interact with you guys, the fans, um, and people who watch our show and feature you guys on our show. So we figured content generated episodes would be a, another way to do that. And we've also been looking for some like really fun ways too to make uh, our little art show that we have a lot more interesting and more fun and you know get more people to watch, more viewers and stuff like that. And the thought of the people who actually watch our show making the content that's going to be on it sounded like a really cool idea and something that was exciting for us. And if the episode, if this episode in particular does go really well, we'll definitely do it again with in the future with different episodes, different themes that will most likely be fun, like crab battle, nothing boring, like draw your favorite pony. It'll be like do something spectacular and art battle. And, ugh. So that's it's definitely what's going to be up be about. <clears throat> now, an another disclaimer about all this. If under the circumstance that we get way too much art, way too many submissions, we will be using our discretion on what we feature and how long we talk about it. We really want to feature everyone's work, but if in the next month or so we get hundreds of submissions, we're going to be forced to be selective about the pieces we do feature on our show and most likely choose the more skilled pieces or the pieces that have a lot of substance to actually talk about and highlight on our show. Um, we'd rather give each piece its individual time or a select few pieces of there, a good amount of individual time, talk about them, highlight them, and give them good credit, then say like a ton of names, hundreds of names, just chain gun them in an hour, because that would just make for an awful episode and something that's not very interesting. It would be horrible for everyone because we really wouldn't be giving artists the time they really deserve. So, because um, we really do want to give everyone like awesome time but if there's too much work we won't be able to and we have to be realistic about it but don't let that discourage you we really don't want to let, uh, want to let that discourage anyone because we really do appreciate and love anyone who sends in anything to us so we are going to create a huge favorites folder that every single submission that is sent to us will go into um and we will be you know obviously directing people to there go check it out we'll probably be like looking at it and like talking about all the works and all the submissions and everyone's work is going to be in there um in that big favorites folder um and as we get it we will try to be uh, we will be upload we will be putting it into that favorites folder that we make so if you don't if you submit something to us and then in the next couple days you don't see your work in there contact us um 
and yeah so that'll be like the favorites full and that whole everyone's work no matter what that will have that will have your work um so it'd be a giant huge folder crab battle it'll be cool because <laughs> this is something that's ridiculous and we, the thought of us going out of our like asking you guys the viewers to make like more ridiculous like crab battle artwork sounded it's really awesome really fun so really hoping that this works um and we may do something more with it as well on our YouTube page, on the thing that you're watching here, on this page that you're watching me like read this to you on. Um, something I've been wanting to do is obviously a lot more cool stuff with this YouTube page, but I haven't had time because like full-time job, full-time college, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, I'm no longer full-time employed, so I do have a little bit more free time, but it's finals right now in college, uh, and spring break's coming up. So I thought in spring break, maybe I'd do some cool stuff on the YouTube page with maybe this work that we're asking people to create, like personal critiques or something of that matter. But there's no promises on that. I still don't know if I'll have time for that. But I've been wanting to do something for the YouTube page. Um, and that's been something that's been on my mind. Ow. <clears throat> now, if you have any questions or blah, uh, please send them in to our Gmail account, which again is cutiearcrusaders at gmail.com. Um, or you can post them in the comments of our DeviantArt post for the crab battle part three, the re the refan crabbing. Post them there on our DeviantArt. Uh, the link for that will obviously be in the description of this YouTube video. Um, you can comment on this YouTube video. Please feel free. Uh, but we won't be going out of our way to like check this video in particular. I will try to check it the best I can. But we will be um, every other day checking our email and our DeviantArt account um, and the comments to this page. So please post there if you have a question and uh, you'd like it to be read. But if you have any suggestions on YouTube stuff or stuff you would like to see on YouTube or questions for like me in particular about this thing that we're doing about my face, whatever, post that on YouTube. Keep that off the TV and art if you want to talk about my lovely mustache. Now, um, we also would really appreciate if you helped us spread the word. So if you favorited or liked this YouTube video, I guess, or shared this YouTube video, um, we'd, we'd appreciate that. Uh, also, more importantly, our actual DeviantArt post thing, the link's in the description. If you favorited that on DeviantArt or posted it to a forum you frequent, or maybe create a DeviantArt journal post about it or whatever that you're like, oh, this is, I'm going to make a crab battle piece. It's going to be ridiculous for this episode. We would really, really appreciate that because we do want this episode to be a success and we're, we want everyone to know about it too. Like, we don't want people to get featured and be on the show because, oh, I was in the right place at the right time or I saw the right thing. We want everyone to have an equal chance to like be on the episode and get everyone featured and stuff like that. So yeah, so any help there, we would really appreciate. The smallest thing always counts, especially like we're not a huge show. I mean, we only have a couple hundred people who watch us every week. It's not like we're this big horse power thing. Anyway, <clears throat> and that's it. Um... I'd basically like to thank you on behalf of all the CAC. So myself, Burned a One, and Rainbow Plasma Flutter Guy, Atmospark. And we really hope that with your guys' help with this project we're doing, that it's a it's a super great success. And everyone's happy. Ponies and love and tolerance and stuff and all that. Um, yeah. I've been Burned a One. Um, and I don't have a sign out for the YouTube channel. We love you all the same. Uh, the awkward stuff. Mm, yeah. Bye. Oh, yeah, then again. Uh. Nope, got nothing. Later. <laughs>